Next up, we have Jim Pearson, who is the Vice President of Engineering at Robert Shaw. Robert Shaw is a global design engineering and manufacturing company that delivers advanced flow control components and system for water, gas, and other fluids. So I will hand it over to you, Jim. Thank you, Natalie. Um, next year will be our 125th anniversary since Frederick Robert Shaw invented the first thermostatic control for gas water heaters. So we've been in the business a long time. Um, some of the other highlights I wanted to bring up here in the laundry segment, especially, is we were the first ones to come out with a solenoid operated laundry valve in 1941. Um, in 2000, we came up with the first internet-connected commercial laundry control. Um, in 2011, we came out with what we call our hydro platform for solenoid water valves, which we reduced materials, cost, move lead, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, and then next year, in 2024, we'll be coming out with what we call our hydro 4 platform, which further reduces materials, um, piece parts for a better valve. Just a little bit about Robert Shaw by the numbers. Um, today we make over 40,000 sophisticated controls. We have over 5,500 global employees, 600 plus technicians and engineers. We operate in 13 countries. We have three engineering innovation centers. Um, 200 plus patents and patent applications, three distribution centers, 10 manufacturing sites, and over 2,000 aftermarket and distributor locations. This slide gives you a, a footprint of where we're operating. In, in red shows our manufacturing sites. Um, in the light blue is our distribution. And then dark blue is our headquarters and or engineering centers we have throughout the globe. Um, Robert Charles' strategy of they make in region for region, even though we can ship out of region, but that's our goal. And then we um, have a fully integrated system where our products are made through our factory. To give you an idea where our components go, so um, this slide shows in commercial and home appliance, or in cooking appliance, or in heating, or in air conditioning, refrigeration, laundry, and dishwashing. Besides that, in industrial applications, we're in the transportation market, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, energy, specialty, irrigation, and water purification. This slide, this slide here shows some of the components we have, um, some of the higher volumes. So it's just a sampling of it. So we make gas valves, we make water valves, we make ignition controls, top burners, oven burners, manifolds, cold and hot thermostats, thermocouples, energy regulators, defrost and electromechanical timers, fluid management systems, and much more. So this is some of the areas working on sustainability solutions. Um, so just to give you an idea, we since we make gas valves and burners, we're going to reduce methane leakage. In our burners, we're looking to lower harmful emissions. Um, come out with a new uh, glass lid safety regulations. Um, we're also supporting European decarbonization goals. We're meeting machine and energy mandates in the laundry section. And then we're advancing EV thermal systems prior to technology. And first, I'm going to talk a little bit about our water valves. So um, I spoke earlier about our launch of our Hydro One line in 2011, where we built our platforms. What we did there is we removed most of the lead by taking out solder, doing a fully automated welded process, uh, eliminated many chronic quality issues, both at our location, our customers, and in the field. Um, with our 600 plus engineers, 
We can help our customers reduce footprint, save machine space and materials. We have tight flow tolerance capability to assure compliance with the latest energy mandates. And we can also put other things like temperature sensors, meters, the monitor flow. This, this slide here shows the two type of valves, solenoid valves we make for laundry, for water valves. Um, on the left is what we call a pilot operated, mainly used uh, for washing machines and dishwashers, where they can allow for a slightly slower opening and close time. You can use a very small amount of power to open and close, allow large amounts of fluid to flow. And then on the right is what we call our direct acting valve. Uh, in the laundry section, mainly used currently in steam dryers, where you want to spritz a little bit of uh, fluid in into the uh, cycle at the end and refresh the clothes. Um, both of these we can customize. We can make single valves, double valves, triple valves. A lot of times we work with a customer to reduce components, hosing, connections, so on and so forth. The one on the left shows we reduce three components, a hose, a siphon brake. The valve and made in one, fully tested, we ship it to our customer. And then the one on the right shows we did some sub assembly for our customer and then fully tested it, ship it into their location. This slide here shows the evolution of our solenoid water valves for laundry. Um, on the left is what we call our legacy type valves. They were produced prior to 2011, it was slightly larger, more material. The center section shows our Hydro One that came out in 2011. We reduced the package size, only the operator, coils, reduced copper, eliminated solder. And then the picture on the right shows our newest product coming out, which is what we call Hydro Four. Um, it's even got a smaller package size. We also made some improvements to our operator package by having a dirt resistant operator. Um, we come out with a next generation diaphragm, which we can make in multiple materials, depending on what fluids you want to flow. We'll reduce parts again to simplify assembly, and we improve the latches, and also we improve the welding process to make it a cleaner process. This slide here shows what we do on gas valves in a laundry system. So this is what we call our direct spark. Um, module for, for dryers. Since we make burners, igniters, gas valves, manifolds, we can make a whole package like this, fully test it, ship it to our customer, and they can put it in their machine as a plug and play to save assembly and test time at their location. And some of the advantage of this is, instead of using a, what they call a hot surface ignition, we use direct spark, which gives you two advantages. One, in the reliability, um, hot surface has issues with breakage in life where direct spark is more robust. And then the second area is in our customers' factories where the quick ignition can reduce tack time on their assembly lines. Um, this also operates at zero standby power. Since we're gas experts, we can work with all different type of gases and uh, help you whatever mix or blend you need. And then, like I said earlier, this is a turnkey system that can be fully tested, uh, shipped to your location, ready for plug and play. And that is the end of my presentation. Thank you.